Hello everybody, welcome to another CSGO editing tutorial. This one I'm going to show you how to use the HLA picker tool. With this tool you can hide certain objects and stuff within CSGO. It's quite easy to use. So first up what we need to do is obviously download the latest version of HLA. You can just do that by downloading from here. Once you have that, you get the zip folder, just extract it like so. Once you have extracted, open the folder and open up HLE. Make sure you click yes for automatically check for updates. Go to file, launch CSGO. The CSGO EXE file, what you need to do is click browse and search for your CSGO.exe. This is going to be located in your Steam directory or wherever you have your game installed. As you see, I have it installed on a separate hard drive. Once you have that done, you can enable this and enter your um, directory of your movie making config. This is uh, so you can keep your movie making config separate from your playing config if you actually play the game. I don't really care about this because I don't play the game anymore, so I just leave it unchecked. For graphic resolution, you can go ahead and check this box and enter a custom resolution. I'm going to do 1920 by 810. That gives me a 21 by 9 aspect ratio, so natural black bars. And uh, you can pretty much leave everything else default and click launch. Alright, so once you have launched into CSGO, you should get this Valve anti cheat message pop up. That means HLE is working. Just press OK. And press Shift F2 on your keyboard, and the demo UI should pop up. Press load, and you can go ahead and search for your demo that you want to record. Alright, so once you've got into a place where you want to uh, remove the certain object within CSGO, you can go ahead and pause the demo like I have done here. I'm going to go ahead and enter third person mode and enter Merv input camera like so, so you can fly around and actually remove uh, whatever you want. So I'm going to um, remove this player here with the Mac 10. And uh, to use the uh, picker tool, what we need to actually use is the Merv streams. So to begin with, what we need to do is actually add a layer. So just type Merv streams add. I'm just going to add a base effects layer and call mine test like so. And uh, you can go ahead and do whatever layer you need. So if you need a green screen, a depth, or just a basic world, uh, you can do that as well. I'm just going to use this one just as a just as a test. And once you have that, we need to preview this uh, layer you created. So just type Merv streams preview, then the name of whatever you called it. So I called it test like that and we're now previewing it like so and uh, now to start the pixel just type merv streams edit and uh, the name of your layer so test uh, picker like so and this will come up with the options for all the picker tools here so there are two things you can uh, remove with the picker tools and that is entities and materials you can use that with the ent and mat commands here uh, so entities would be like the player models and stuff and mats would be like the uh, shadows down here. So what we need to do now is actually help HLE determine what we need to hide and what we don't need to hide. And we do that by typing ones and zeros with the commands here. One means it's visible and zero means it's uh, invisible and you don't see it. So we just need to tell HLE a bunch of times uh, whether we see it or not and that will help HLE choose what we actually want to hide So to begin with we're going to start removing the player model so we're going to be using the ent command So just like merv streams edit test picker ent and one because we actually see the player I type that and we don't see it anymore type so zero We see it again type one And there we have it that was actually quick and we have the entity that we want to hide. Just copy and paste this entity here. It's visible. Make sure you stop the picker tool by tapping Merv Streams Edit uh, Test Picker Stop, like so. We stop the picker tool. And then we can use the action filter command to hide the uh, entity. And it looks like we've also hidden the shadow with it. So just type Merv Streams Edit uh, Test Action Filter. And this will come in with the action filter commands here. And you see, we just need to create a new action filter. So we're going to use the add x command, add x, and we can copy and paste this here, like so. Quotations like that. Action. 
equals no draw like that and there we have it we've hidden the player as well as the shadow and so yeah now we remove the player from this scene here it looks pretty weird because it, it's just invisible now and is aiming at nothing and uh, sometimes the shadow will be left behind and to get rid of that all you need to do is just the same process but use the mat command here and uh, just do the same process and remove the uh, rest of it so yeah it's pretty simple uh, nice and easy to do uh, it might be a bit time consuming depending on how much uh, stuff you need to remove uh, so yeah that's pretty much it hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you all in the next one thanks for watching